Okay, everybody, here is Kyangel Hard Mode Gate 2. Gate 2. Spent a lot of time on the release day doing Kyangel, and this is the second gate of four. We'll be doing a commentary video, some things to get out of the way first. This is not a video that's going to be a guide for all the mechanics and all the movesets. Again, if you guys want to know about that stuff, I recommend checking out Max Roll, Mobile Lytics, ATK's video, Memorizer's videos. There's a ton of that kind of content out there. I'm just going to provide a commentary for my run here, see what we can learn, see the things that I did poorly, and see what I can do to do them better, and then maybe provide some tips or things that I thought about for uh, you know what I was thinking about when I was doing the fight see how we can do it better um, all right let's go let's dive into it let's dive into it so kind of gate two is um the thing that stuck out to me the most really is just like just watch for watch for the debuff for the puddles um is the biggest thing you want to make sure that you're kind of like watching for the puddles um so you don't uh, drop them in a bad spot is re is really the biggest thing a lot of his moveset to be honest is kind of similar to gate one in a sense that like for the most part um in terms of fast reactions all you have to do is kind of like stand to the side or stand behind them then everything else has a a fast enough tell that you can kind of like figure it out afterwards um for this slam attack you want to kind of just like see which direction he's spinning and then kind of follow it it's not too bad so here's the first puddle drop it to the side Get to the other side. And you see, so like some of these other attacks where you can't follow that rule set of stand to the side, stand to the back, they just have a long enough tell that you should be able to see it coming. So like in very many ways, you don't really need to know the move set specifically. You just need to know that like, oh, if there's if if it's happening pretty quick, I just need to okay. One thing that I will say about this, when he charges his sword, he's gonna teleport and slam. I find that the most useful thing to do as a party is to all stack behind him and start attacking him because he will always teleport behind a player that he chooses, right? But if you guys are all standing in the same place and facing in the same direction, you notice that when he teleports, it's behind the party and it's coming forward. So it's really easy to dodge just by walking to the side after he reappears. I think that's very useful to do. There's another puddle. Want to put that down, missing a rain. Classic, classic Arcana problems. This is gonna come forward again. So one thing to know about this attack when he dashes forward is just know that he comes back. Just know that he comes back. Out in, and then he's gonna slam and you find this safe spot. And just know that that's a three hit pattern. Out in and then find a safe spot. Should be reactable enough. Uh, maintain some balance there. Another puddle. To the sides, to the back. That's most of Lost Ark. To the sides, to the back. This is similar. He could teleport and do that flurry of slashes again. But if not, then to the sides, to the back. Okay, when he spins his sword above his head like that, you don't want to hit him because he'll do a counterattack on the party. That's the other thing to look out for. This is a stagger. You do not, it's kind of like clown stagger, right? In uh, gate one, is it? You don't want to stagger it from the side that he's spinning his sword, right? So his front area, we don't want to be staggering him. You just got to go behind and then do your stagger from there. Not too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, when he gets up, he doesn't move. Very annoying. When he gets up from his stagger, he doesn't move around him, so you don't want to be on top of him there. Okay, you just keep doing damage. He's going to teleport, so we try to stay near each other. There it is. It's very useful because then you know exactly what's happening with that teleport move. It just makes it very clean, very easy. And most of the time you can uptime him anyways. I have a puddle on me. It's definitely like one of those things where you want your party to all help call out for when the puddle spawns. It's definitely one of the number one ways you can kind of like mess up this gate. 
is the puddles. Okay, here we go. The map's going to break, and we're going to do the dodging game. There's not much that I can say about this other than, um, you know, just try to solve for the up-down circles first, and then really pay attention to the horizontal circles after that. Um, when you're walking around with a person with a reticle, just pretend like you all have the reticle and, and dodge it. Um, yeah, other than that, solve the up down and to make sure that these horizontal ones I find that the horizontal ones are the ones that really get you because you can't like these static ones you kind of like solve them immediately right as long as you're in this column you're safe and the only other thing you consider is like the back and forth of the horizontal ones is is what really gets you solve this there's a mark so just make sure that everybody's dodging fine the other side and then the horizontal one is not relevant and that's about it shouldn't be too bad shouldn't be too bad just think of the columns that are safe and then watch for the horizontal zappies and that's about it so from here on out you'll notice that it's mostly it's just all the same the only thing is it's a little bit more punishing but his attacks are slow enough that you shouldn't really get hit by them watch the degree the 270 degree circle right um but as long as you you are playing responsibly, staying to the side, staying behind, um, even though the map is smaller, it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. For the most part, you can kind of just go ham. Nice big damage. Big damage. Lots of damage on that stagger. See, I wasn't behind him, and I got smacked for it. I wasn't behind him, so I got smacked for it. Line up in the air. Please, you kind of just have to wait. One of the big swords lingers. You have to watch out for that. And then you continue to just kind of call out the puddles for your teammates here. That's why I said at the beginning of this commentary video, it's like the biggest thing in this, oh yeah, you have to note that there's like a follow-up attack here. So this is one situation where standing behind him is actually not great, but to be honest, like it kind of happens so infrequently that it's like, I don't know. Mostly like as you get better at the fight, you can recognize that this is happening. You can kind of like stay to the side a little bit, but to be honest for progression, it's like, it's just so much more useful to keep in mind side or back that it's like, I think it's way more worth it to just continue to stay behind him or to the side if that's like your inclination. We're gonna put the puddles away very responsibly. Now there's like another factor to the puddles puzzles that happened in the last phase where they'll explode with like a blue circle. Oh, this is where he's gonna teleport so everybody stacks up. And you move to the side. Very simple and easy. And then there's that follow-up slam. Very simple, very easy. So there's a puddle, puzzle, puddle. And we need to drop that puddle. So you see how that there's now a blue explosion. So what you kind of want to do, what was helpful for us, not that it was a big issue, but you just kind of like make sure the party is all on the same page for like the puddle is going upwards. So everybody like, let's go downwards a little bit just to prevent any mistakes where we walk into where the pu puddle area is. There's another puddle. So we watch out for where this goes and the party kind of like calls to go the other direction. So it's going to the left so you can stay to the right. You see, we don't take the bait and follow the boss to the left because we know we, we called it out. There it is, get to the safe side, all very reactable stuff. There's another puddle. So we see the puddle go to the right, so we call go to the left. Nice and easy, don't follow the boss there. Out in. And the slammer. Should be a very familiar three hit combo by now at this point in the fight. Now I have one, so I'm going to the right, call for the party left. Gonna keep running, 
He's spamming his flurry attack. Oh, that's sad. Can we just have a moment of silence for our Arcana gamers out there? Let's watch it again. Oh, stay away from this. This spin attack does a lot of damage. Drop the puddle, call to the party, go to the right. And that's about, this is, this is just the entirety of the fight. Very good. Gate one and two, I think are simple in these ways. It's a nice and a clean fight. You're nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. It's just about your fundamental mechanics of Lost Ark. You stay away from this puddle here. The boss is kind of chilling in it, so we kind of like stay away. I want to use my judgment card here. He's going to do the circle. There it is. Should be able to go with judgment here. Puddle is going to the left, so we can go right. But remember, he comes back across, right? So we just don't want to be in that cone area behind him. I took so much damage from that. Did you see that? He teleported and did this flurry. And because I took the full brunt of it, I didn't stay to the side or behind him. So I just took a million damage. Okay, so the swords are coming down. Swords are coming down. And remember, this sword lingers. So you just got to let it expire. Flurry, make sure you're not in front or to or right in front of him. And then that's it. That's gate two. Very, very simple. All right. So nothing too complicated. Gate two should be kind of an easy run. As long as you're following the fundamental rule sets, you'll be fine. The biggest thing is watch for the puddles. Is watch for the puddles, right? Um, and then communicate with your party. That's all you have to do. All right. We're going to move on to uh, our gate three progression in the next video. So hope you guys uh, are enjoying Kyangil and I'll see you in gate three.